Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fearless Fridays. My name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I'm a leadership and career coach that guides others to create a career they can love. So if you're a leader, don't really know if you are leading. If you feel stuck in your career, send me a message. I have the solution. So today I want to share the one thing, the one, one, one thing that is causing most of your conflict in your life. It usually stems from fear and worry and concern about what might happen, about what will, can be based on past experiences, but that doesn't dictate that those things are going to happen now in the present and ultimately stem from a lack of belief that you're going to be okay. So this one thing is, drum roll please, <laughs> uh, there actually is a drummer upstairs in this place. So should, one time I want him to be drumming, he's not drumming, uh, is not saying the things you want to say. So the thing that is causing most of the conflict in your life is not sharing what you want to say. Holding things back causes resentment. I don't know if you felt that before, but when you hold something back and something keeps happening and you, and you keep having the conversation in your head, well, when you finally do let it out, you've been talking for days, for months, for sometimes years about this thing that the person that you want to share it with doesn't even know. They haven't even been talking about it once. They might not even been thinking about it. So you have all this energy invested into this thing. And when you invest energy in something, it's usually a cause of conflict, especially when that energy is at different levels than the person that you're sharing it with. And not only can it cause you to resent others, but it can cause you to start resenting yourself. Because when you hold something back that you feel is important, you start doubting who you are, what you're capable of, and questioning just in general, you as a person. So let's try to share one thing that we're holding back. To let go of the worry and the concern, and the fear and the stress, all those negative emotions, and just say what you want to say. And if you're wondering how to say that thing, I have a ton of videos on giving feedback. Check them out on our channel. Most importantly, I want you to live more for yourself. And this is one way that you can take a huge leap forwards in truly living for yourself.